welcome our special guests this evening. Our chief guest, Honorable Richard Badudi, Minister of Industry and Commerce. Dr. Sema Apina, founder and chancellor of Kiliya American University. Advocate Mr. Al Adoku, member of the Board of Governors, Kiliya American University. His Excellency, Aziz Zaidi, High Commissioner of Malaysia. His Excellency, Mr. Tunia Azubala, Ambassador of Turkey. Mr. Osama Al Ali, First Secretary of the Embassy of the UAE. Honorable M.A.A. Mahmoud, Member of Parliament. Honorable M.H. Mohamed Namadi, Member of Parliament. Honorable Abdul Rahman Ishaq, Member of Parliament. Mr. Bajra Pereira, Director Tertiary and Vocational Education Commission. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we begin proceedings with the welcome dance. Please put your hands together and give Salah Prasad dance to a round of applause. the director of Metropolitan College and with Dr. Shiraz's demanding political commitments in serving the nation. She also keeps the college on an even gear, whatever the challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give Mrs. Afra Shiraz a round of applause. Good evening. Honorable Rishad Badurdin, Minister of Commerce and Industry. Honorable Amir Ali, Deputy Minister, Rural Development. Dr. Serhat Akpinar, Founder and Chancellor of Girne American University. Advocate Arul Dugu, Member of Board of Governors, Girne American University. His Excellency Azmi Zainuddin, High Commissioner of Malaysia. His Excellency Mr. Tunka Ozjuhadar, High Commissioner of Turkey. Mr. Osama Al Ali, First Secretary of the Embassy of the United Arab Emirates. Honorable M. H. M. Mahroof, Member of Parliament. Honorable M. H. M. Mohammed Nabavi, Member of Parliament. Mr. Wajira Pereira, Director, Tertiary and Vocational Education Commission of Sri Lanka. Dr. H. M. Rafiq, Distinguished Guests. Principals, members of the media, invitees, graduates, prize winners, students, parents, ladies and gentlemen. I warmly welcome all of you to the graduation ceremony of Metropolitan College. This occasion marks the success of the students as well as the lecturers and parents whose efforts and sacrifices cannot be measured. We greatly appreciate the presence of our chief guest, Honorable Rishad Badurdin, ministers, members of parliament, diplomats, dignitaries, and all the special invitees who are gathered here with us amidst their busy schedule. Metropolitan College was established in 1999 to provide internationally recognized, quality, affordable qualifications for the students of Sri Lanka. In our journey, we have gained popularity, especially among the Maldivian students, for courses in psychology and tourism. A critical strength of Metropolitan College is its valuable academic partners. Girne American University is the largest American-style university in Europe and has won many awards of excellence. We are honored to have Dr. Serhat Akpinar and Advocate Aral Dogu who have come from abroad to grace this occasion. Your presence here is a great strength to all of us at Metropolitan College. Ladies and gentlemen, what an impressive support system has come here to honor our Metropolitan 2015 graduates. I am extending my heartfelt congratulations to our amazing graduate students now entering a new status as Metropolitan College alumni. 
To address the gathering next, I have the pleasure of inviting the Director of the Tertiary and Vocational Education Commission during this most challenging of rapid social change and educational growth in Sri Lanka. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give Mr. Vajra Ferreira a round of applause. Good evening, Chief Guest, Honorable Rishad Madhude, Honorable Ministers, Members of Parliament, Excellencies, Distinguished Academics, Ladies and Gentlemen, as I understand, Metropolitan College is a vocational and technical training institution which is registered with TVC, Tertiary and Vocational Education Commission. And it established as far back as 1990s and currently delivering many courses, wide spectrum of different disciplines. So, I think uh, it is very much privilege as graduates that you are getting the certificate from the Metropolitan College. The students who are receiving certificates today will be very uh, great opportunity. They will have the great opportunities for better employment and for very prosperous life. So I wish all the graduates who are receiving certificates today. Thank you very much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the pleasure of inviting a very passionate, energetic and dynamic personality, the founder chairman of Metropolitan College. He is a beloved educator and an enthusiastic politician, the former mayor of Kamele who contested for a seat in the recent election. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Dr. Suraj Mir Sahib. A blessed evening to all of you. Our Chief Guest, Honorable Rishad Badudin, Minister of Industry and Commerce. Honorable Amir Ali, Deputy Minister of Rural Development, Dr. Sadhad Akhino, Founder and Chancellor Gurney American University, Advocate Arun Dabu, Member of Board of Governors, Gurney American University, His Excellency Azmi Zainuddin, High Commissioner of Malaysia, His Excellency Tunja Oskobar, Ambassador of Turkey, Mr. Osama Al Ali, First Secretary for the Embassy of UAE, Honorable Abdul Rahman Ishaq, Member of Parliament, Honorable Amitcham Navadi, Member of Parliament, Mr. Rajiva Pereira, Director, Tertiary and Vocational Education Commission, Sri Lanka. Distinguished guests, invitees, principals, lecturers, teachers, parents, graduates, friends from media, students, ladies and gentlemen. We are honored tonight by your presence among us. It is my personal duty as a chairman of Metropolitan College to welcome 
one and all present here at this graduation ceremony of Metropolitan College. Metropolitan College is privileged in holding its annual graduation ceremony today in which 110 students are being conferred with diplomas and degrees in various disciplines. Metropolitan College started out with a near 35 students over four, three programs and has now grown many fold with a total strength of 600 students over 24 programs. Our successful performance record for the current year is impressive 90%. I cannot claim that the steady growth of this institution is due to me primarily, but first due to the Metropolitan College team for the excellent performance of lecturers, coordination of staff, and wise guidance of management. Our highly qualified and experienced academic and non-academic staff has given most notable support throughout. Loyal and cooperative, they have made a valuable contribution to our success. Our student council members have also proven to have creative minds and strong leadership for which I offer our appreciation. Our institutional success is also due to our amazing partners. Give me American University, known as GAU, is our degree granting partner. And we are proud to be aligned with such an awarding name. UGC recognized multiple inter university, the largest American style university in Europe, with lovely campuses in the other part of Europe, Asia, UK, and the US as well. The other nine include prominent politicians and educators. The founding president of GAU, Dr. Sadhad Akhina, is here with us today, along with GAU board member, Mr. Aral Doku. Dr. Akhina has achieved his dream of creating a world university, and we are grateful to be a flanking partner in that dream. Metropolitan College is grateful to our other international partners and affiliations. OJHM UK, through which other students gain qualifications in psychology and management, and grow which professional in community can receive a professional membership recognition through Metropolitan status as the authorized only rank and membership center. Merrill's language school, though with students take a Japanese language foundation course and then travel to Tokyo for further studies. And more to be a communication authority by which students come from the module for study. We have students from China, Europe, India, and the Middle East and the Middle East. Metropolitan College is committed to diversity and equal opportunity. We welcome all the age students from 16 years. We have programs requiring O-level, A-level, HMB, OBSC. But we also have programs for people who have no qualification at all. 
most of our students study in English medium, but we also have singular medium program option. Some of our students have impressive professional careers, are doctors, lawyers, teachers, trainers, business executives. Some of our students are focused on career qualifications, while others are just exploring. All are able and some are differently able. Some are current students and others are highly successful alumni who visit us or even teach at Metropolitan College. Successful students of me, we know how feel fortunately in having opportunity of learning at Metropolitan College. As this is a certainly important starting point for higher position and life in terms of it. It's my earliest hope that many of you members graduating today may take prominent place in the affairs of the country in the future and thereby makes institution ever more elastic. I am convinced that you graduates will become a permanent in the style of work you undertake. I am sure, ladies and gentlemen, the students are celebrating their graduation tonight. We feel, we feel that they have had a successful career and I am confident that Inshallah, our position will be fully made and further evolved in the years ahead. I also take this opportunity to thank the school which participated in our recent mental health first version essay competition last month. Thank you to all the students who have essayed to us at the local degree. They gave us great hope for the future of our nation. Thank you to the teachers, principals, who are the great students who attend the workshop and to work. Congratulations to those who are placed first, second, and third place. We are in the world of the and those who have honorable mention for their high contribution and eager effort. Mr. Sandy Rose, Dr. Kenneth Lee and Dr. Kavita Kraft, who have contributed in many ways up to this institution and personally assisting me for the past year. I would like to also mention that this gentleman that in this world of Canada, any people of our Indian followers decided to become an high quality gallery for a country in the world by learning university in their own world. Our institution could be released to facilitate and promote such children. May I introduce on behalf of our institution, tell them that it is all the best things and once again, Thank you everyone for your great kindness. I take it with pleasure to invite our chief guests, special guests, and the family to join the dinner after the closure of this event. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I now have the pleasure of inviting a very respected politician of our country who has had many important in senior portfolios. He is also our chief guest this evening. He's a minister of commerce and industry and the leader of the ACMC, a former student of Dr. Shiraz, an engineer by profession as well as a very active member of the parliament. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us today and give one more wish about the meeting around the world. Honorable Army Gallery, 
Metropolitan College is among the many private sector education providers in Sri Lanka. However, it appears to be special from the others due to the excellence of its faculty led by its committed chairman, Dr. Siras Niras Sahib. 85 students will be passing out at this graduation ceremony and this new student collective is just one qualified batch from more than 650 Sri Lankan and foreign students who learn and graduated from Metropolitan College. Sri Lanka during the past 15 years of its services in such diverse disciplines as management and lesser psychology and social sciences, languages, and information technology. The government has increased its education spending as a percentage of the share of GDP. Thanks to the vision of His Excellency, the President, Maitripal Sirisena, and Honorable Prime Minister, Ranil Vikram Singh. Therefore, we believe that better education opportunities would open in future in our motherland. Sri Lankan state schools generally do not offer education in English. Also, now the former education system is not fully focused on environment oriented education or training. I would suggest state and private sector employees who can get opportunity to follow the courses to get skill enhancement in Metropolitan College. The quality of teachers of the education system is important if we are to achieve better standards. Continuous training and promotions are necessary to improve the standards of education whether it is private of state. In fact, in many of these aspects, I am happy that the Metropolitan College is endorsed and accredited by such local and international partners as the tertiary and vocational 
Education Commission, Maldives Qualification Authority, OTHM, UK, ACCA, and the largest American model university in Europe, the fully accredited GAU. In fact, not many Sri Lankan education providers are so well accredited as Metropolitan. These students are working in various places. Once again, congratulating the 85 keen graduates who are joining the workforce with the pride of Metropolitan College Sri Lanka. I also wish you all pleasant evening. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.
High Commissioners of Malaysia and Maldives, dear parliamentarians, my colleague, my colleagues, my brother, Dr. Shiraz, esteemed guests, dear lecturers, parents, and dear graduates. It's a great honor for me to salute and address you today. As the graduates of today, you are about to embark on one of the greatest experiences of your life. You, as the most precious values, have made the best decision in choosing Metropolitan College and Green American University. Dear graduates, there are few days in our life when one is truly needed. The graduation day from your university is one of those rare days. While we were getting ready today, I am sure you had a feeling, tingling feeling in your stomach. I am sure you had a, you had that feeling today as well. What will be the auditorium be like? What will the instructors feelings be? The feelings of my parents and friends there is so much to be curious about. I also recall this excitement, this spark within you that makes you feel truly alive today. Today, I am going to talk about keeping this spark shining in your life. I welcome you to the most wonderful years of your life. If someone gave you the choice to go back in time, I will surely choose my graduation. But I also hope that a year later as well, your eyes will also shine the same way as they do today, like me, and that you will keep this spark alive, not only through the ceremony, but also through your life. It is your moment now, you are full with the power of life. The next step is to realize that only you are in charge of getting to where you want to be and no one else. Your happiness in life is not going to be handled so easily. Making reasonable decisions is the key that will get you to where you want to be. There are many people who seem as if they are getting through life without a hurry, with a smile on their face. One of my favorite, um, one of my most favorite uh, fish species is the Japanese koi fish. There is a very surprising characteristic of the koi fish. If you feed them in a small fish tank, they only grow between 8 to 6 centimeters. If you put them in a bigger aquarium, they can grow up to between 15 to 20 meters. 20 centimeters. They can even reach up to 45 centimeters in a pool. However, they reach their real size if you put them in a lake about 90 centimeters. I guess that we all understand the main idea of this story. The size of the fish is in different proportion to the size of the water. I would like to be the first one to tell you that you are about to take the first step from a very big pool to a pool of life. You have an eternal potential for your personal growth journey. As a member of the great community family, you have graduated from the most focused, updated, and successful academic program. Your lecturers are pleased to start all existed with you and you existed with them. Those who come after you will take their place near you in the future. Our college programs are well respected, but continue to improve and evolve. If you accept the changes in the business world and with improvements in technology, our key programs are accredited, recognized, and accepted internationally. Our graduates are welcome and are successful in any place for in continuing their education and for responsible positions in our own 
in the United States, Europe, and around the world. As a member of the regulatory family, you are a delegate for the World Class and Education Association, who stands for the limits of our nations. We are proud of you all. The future will exist with you. I would like to express my gratitude to all the academic and analysis of the staff, and in particular, the rectorate and the respective parents who have been a full part of your journey. As a member of the great Union family, it should be always sufficient to all of us to represent the university and remind us of our responsibilities for preparing the next generation to their daily lives. I am sure that some of you will have to join our team. We will look forward to that day. You are not educated to be managed, but educated to manage. If you will live a new life, bring value to other lives. Dear parents, it is a great honor for the GD family to share this moment with yourself and our graduates together and to wish them a prosperous future and happy life. And what I would like to say right now to our graduates, to stand up please. Can you please stand up for a moment? And show your appreciation to your parents. A nice smile in your face, then you just look at them and turn to each other, hold yourself and congratulate each other. Today is your day. Shake your hands, hold yourself and feel the excitement and spark within you. I hope that you can please stand. I hope to raise all of you who will be invited in the future. And in your life, give your life to the cause. For the best of all, my heart is to all of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So it is very pretty that I invite Mr. Sumitra Mahadevani to address this gathering.
Well, this is the moment you have all been waiting for a presentation of awards and certificates. To present the first year certificates, I have the pleasure of inviting Mr. Roger Pereira, Director of TGEC, along with Dr. Shiraz Mashahi, Chairman of the College. If you could be joined together, I'll give them a round of applause. Ali Hussein. <laughs> Diploma in Secretary of Studies, B.A.G. Ramin Kulavidada. HGEG Shaving is here. Arn Pearl. L.S. De Silva. Sean Anthony Leach <laughs> Level 5 Management for Travel and Tourism, Spencer Mario Pereira Thank you very much, Dr. Sam. Prashant Prabhakar. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you can join us in the game and round of applause. Thank you very much, Dr. Sarah. Ladies and gentlemen, 
This outstanding performer by dedicating time and energy has achieved this highest honor. The student commenced her studies with a diploma in psychology. With this initial inspiration, the student dedicated and decided to become a BSc psychology certificate holder. During the four years of study, this candidate proved to be a top performer. Any guesses, ladies and gentlemen? Well, ladies and gentlemen, today this student will be awarded the BSc Psychology degree from Guilherme American University. And let us all give a standing ovation to this gold medalist. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this girl deserves a standing ovation and I'm leaning. Please put your hands together for Singapore Jamani Bidavani BSc Psychology, Guilherme American University. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to the presentation of the tokens of appreciation presented by Dr. Shiraz Mira Sahib. These momentos are presented to Honorable A.H.M. Fauzi, State Minister. Dr. Salman Alpina, founder and chancellor of Guinea American University. Honorable Amin Khalil, Premier of the Bureau to the left hand. Mr. Arald, the member of the government of Guinea American University. His Excellency Ashwin Zayedi, High Commissioner of Malaysia. His Excellency Mr. Tunja Azumada, Ambassador of Turkey. the first secretary of the embassy of the UAE. <laughs> Mr. Roger Pereira, Director of Church and Education. Parliament. 
on the first option, we're going to let each other make it more positive. And also, on the third in the end of our room, many of our parliament. Thank you very much, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now move on to the certificate of appreciation for the lecturers. It's certainly important to recognize our valued lecturers and staff who have put in their hard work with commitment and dedication. To present this award, I would like to invite Dr. Shiraz. This is the great Shiraz. Is a gentleman truly a chance to give you a round of applause? Mr. Sanjay Chakravarti Kumar. Mr. Angelo Kupuyeva. Mr. Lili Kapsupa. Mr. Rajan Jayakotan. Mr. Chakra Gandhi. Mr. Rajat Fernandez. Certificate of Appreciation for Staff, Dr. Chairman and Deputy. <laughs> Mr. Robin Verona Sigma. Mr. Zafari Jalashashan. Mr. Ahmed Zaji. Mr. Hussein Amirali. Mrs. Ayomi Dulanjali Palamena. <laughs> Mr. Ramadan Vendasinka. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, to propose the vote of thanks, I'd like to invite Mrs. Adeline Amina Jali. Please put your hand up and give her a round of applause. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Rishad Badiuddin, Minister of Industry and Commerce. Honorable A.H.M. Fauzi, State Minister. Honorable Amir Ali, Deputy Minister of Rural Development. Dr. Serhat Akpinar, Founder and Chancellor of Girne American University. Advocate Mr. Aral Dogu, Member of the Board of Governors, Girne American University, His Excellency Azmi Zainuddin, High Commissioner of Malaysia, His Excellency Mr. Tunja Oz Juhadar, Ambassador of Turkey, 
Mr. Osama Al Ali, First Secretary for the Embassy of the United Arab Emirates, Honorable Mohammed Mahruf, Member of Parliament, Honorable Abdul Rahman Ishaq, Member of Parliament, Honorable Mohammed Hanifa Mohammed Nawabi, Member of Parliament, Mr. Bajiru Pereira, Director, Tertiary and Vocational Education Commission of Sri Lanka. Distinguished guests, invitees, principals, lecturers, teachers, parents, graduates, friends from media, students, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for taking time out of your busy schedule in order to grace this occasion. We are indeed honored to have such a distinguished gathering at this memorable function. I would like to thank the management and staff of Metropolitan College for organizing this momentous event for all of us today. I would like to extend our appreciation to the Students' Council for their participation and support towards making this event a success. A big thank you to our wonderful lecturers for their guidance and training that made it possible for us to acquire knowledge in our relevant fields of study and help us further our ambitions. I would like to thank our host, the Excellency Hall, for all the beautiful preparations for tonight. I would like to thank Speedmark Printers, our event promotions, AU Entertainment, our sponsors, Santu Prasad Dance Troupe, Moments Photography, Ashok Videography, and our wonderful compere, Javid Bonso. A heartfelt thank you to all the graduates present here today and also our dear family and friends for being here with us on this special day. We all have goals and dreams in life that we hope to achieve. In order to achieve those goals and dreams, we need to make an effort. We need to apply ourselves and work hard. As we all stand here today as graduates, we know that each one of us has made that attempt, taken that step to achieving that goal in becoming the person we aspire to be. As a student at Metropolitan College, I must say that I found my time here learning and growing to be quite memorable. My exceptionally wonderful lecturers, Janet, Mr. Danushka and Ms. Suhaila, made my learning process of an entirely new field worth every class that I attended. They made me realize my potential and also taught me so much. They made me see things in a different perspective and made me think out of the box in most occasions. I'm so glad I attended the workshop conducted by Dr. Matt that made me decide on following my goal of becoming a counselor. Each lecturer had their own style and way of imparting knowledge that made it a worthy learning experience. Once again, I would like to thank each and every one of you present here today and I would like to conclude with a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character. This is the goal of education. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Adle Amina Jaliri. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of the final part of the function. Let me take this opportunity to wish all the students the very best in your future endeavors. Thank you very much for being present here today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we also move on to the graduation picture. <laughs>